The F-22 is more than a fighter. It's a kingmaker. It's the machine to call on when it's time to put the fear of God into the hearts of enemies. For these reasons, everyone wants one, but the United States says no, irrespective of who's president, Biden or Trump. And when the U.S. says no, powerful nations strike back. The United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan are some of the U.S.'s strongest allies. They have strong diplomatic ties, perform drills together, exercises together, and if any were to get involved in a conflict today, they would all fight the conflict together. The UK and Italy are both part of NATO, and Japan has deals in place that compels the US to be deeply involved in its protection. All three nations wield America's F-35 Lightning II in their fleet. In fact, Japan has the largest F-35 fleet outside of the US, with 147 units. Still, despite all of these bestie relations, the US has bluntly refused to sell any of its F-22 Raptors to any of these nations. In fact, there's a federal law in place in the US preventing such a sale from happening should any nation attempt to buy it. And Japan did try, only to be turned down. Unable to acquire the most dominant air superiority fighter in the world, the three nations with a combined GDP of over $9 trillion set out to create theirs to create the new, most dominant air superiority fighter in the world. One they'll not just fly in their fleet, but also modify, export, and integrate with domestic technologies without restrictions. The Global Combat Air Program, GCAP for short, is the trilateral project by the UK, Italy, and Japan to develop such a fighter by 2035. The fighter will be a sixth-generation fighter that features the capabilities of the fifth-generation F-22 Raptor and more. A lot more. Sophisticated stealth to evade detection by the most advanced enemy air defense systems. Secure data links that allow for the networking of sensors and weapons with friendly forces. Helmets that display virtual see-through cockpits for the pilots while monitoring their mental states to enable intervention when overtasked or unconscious. Integrated AI that will assist the pilot in many tasks, including issuing instructions to multiple loyal wingmen-style combat drones that can undertake high-risk missions. Advanced adaptive cycle turbofan engines that can reconfigure mid-flight to prioritize blurry super high speeds or optimize for fuel efficiency. Improved engine cooling and gearboxless electrical generators producing 10 times more electricity to power sensors and perhaps eventually directed energy weapons and so on. It's a laundry list of what the GCAP fighter needs to be, but as the items on the list get ticked off one after the other and the design of the fighter begins to take shape, we see something, something we've seen before. The F-22 Raptor Reborn In a bid to make the best there is, the GCAP fighter has circled back to the F-22 Raptor because it is, in fact, the best there is. But it doesn't end there. The GCAP fighter has not only circled to the F-22, but instead a special variant that only a select few ever got the chance to see. The FB-22 The FB-22 was a bomber variant of the F-22 proposed but never realized by Lockheed Martin. Thanks to a massive delta wing, it could hold significantly more fuel and weapons, enough to triple the combat radius of the Raptor to 2,100 miles and make it far more destructive every mile of the way with up to 15,000 pounds of weapons. The latest design of the GCAP fighter learns a thing or two from this, with large delta wings that appear to serve the same purpose. A larger capacity to carry more fuel for farther, faster flight, and more weapons for, well, we all know what weapons do. These benefits come at the cost of maneuverability, a cost the GCAP fighter is willing to pay. In today's skies, range, speed, and payload are winning over maneuverability. Dogfights, which usually revolved around intense maneuverability, have now transformed into something of a face-off between teams of snipers. Gone are the days of sharp turns and acrobatic moves to get the enemy in the crosshairs. These days, it's all about swiftly flying from base to great distances away, staying many miles away from the enemies, sniffing out the enemies before the enemies discover foreign presence, and firing the kill shots. For all of these, range, speed, and a deep payload are required, not primarily maneuverability. 
Conveniently, these features, not maneuverability, are also key qualities of a strike plane designed to evade enemy air defenses, potentially hunt down mobile targets like ballistic missile truck launchers or warships, and inflict maximum damage in just one flight. This explains the design and focus of the GCAP fighter. Now, it's time to explain the design and focus of its greatest rival yet, the F-22 Raptor. Almost two decades ago, in 2005, the United States unveiled the fighter that would change the world, the final piece for the US to cement its position as number one and Moscow as number two. It was the F-22 Raptor, a fighter in a league of its own, a generation of its own, the world's first fifth-generation fighter. Despite at least three other fifth-generation fighters entering service after it, the Raptor remains the undisputed king of the skies, with capabilities that allow it to dominate any face-off it enters. Capabilities such as Stealth Stealth is a superpower. Stealth made aircraft invisible. Stealth transformed fighter jets from dogfighting gladiators to silent killers in the sky. Stealth was a game changer. Stealth isn't one single technology. It is an entire suite of features that make an aircraft more and more difficult to spot by enemy air defense systems. To achieve this on the Raptor, the fighter was built from the ground up with stealth in mind, from the first piece of metal to the very last. Manufacturer Lockheed Martin paid attention to every detail. The fighter's hinges are hidden. The airframe is shaped to scatter detection waves instead of reflecting them back to the source. Leading edges are cooled and flat thrust vectoring nozzles are present to reduce infrared emissions and therefore give less heat for heat-seeking missiles to feed off of. The Raptor's airframe is lavishly coated with radar absorbent material to absorb whatever stubborn radar waves refuse to be deflected away. To ensure stealth components work as designed at all times, the fighter is fitted with a signature assessment system that delivers warnings when the radar signature is degraded and repair is necessary. All of these combine to ensure the Raptor has a radar cross-section of 0.0001 meters squared, the same as that of a steel marble. Engine Powering the Raptor are two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 augmented turbofan engines. These engines are closely spaced and incorporate pitch axis thrust vectoring nozzles for athletic level agility. Combined, both engines produce a hefty 70,000 pound force of thrust to give the Raptor a top speed of Mach 2.25, a service ceiling of 65,000 feet, and a maximum range of 2,000 miles, more than half the radius of the planet. With such high speed and altitude, the Raptor is able to fly as fast, as high, and as maneuverably as it needs to evade ground defenses and eliminate threats. Armament To maintain its stealth profile, the F-22 by default holds its weapons internally. These weapons are shared across one main bay and two side bays. In the main bay is a combination of up to 665 mile range Mach 4 flying AIM 120C advanced medium range air to air missiles and 1,000 pound class GPS guided joint direct attack munitions. In the side bays are two AIM 9 Sidewinders with a Mach 2.5 top speed and 22 mile range, an M61 A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon with 480 rounds is also embedded in the airplane's right wing route. When stealth isn't of topmost priority, the Raptor can carry more ammo externally, up to 5,000 pounds on each of its four underwing hardpoints. All of these capabilities and more have made the Raptor the most dominant fighter in the world, from the minute it entered service to this very day. They have also made the Raptor the most expensive fighter in history, with a unit cost of $350 million. The Raptor is simply special. Yet the Raptor is about to get even more dominant, more expensive, and more special with its latest suite of upgrades. For years, the Raptor has been slated for retirement by the 2030s. However, as the 2030s draw nearer, the US Air Force has realized how insane it is to retire the most formidable fighter on the planet while it is the most formidable fighter on the planet. Sentiments have changed, and instead of retiring the fighter in a few years, it is now slated for an extensive suite of upgrades, up to $7.8 billion worth of upgrades. Two upgrades in particular have stood out greatly. Number 2. Low Observable IRST Pods 
Despite the Raptor's superiority, its age means it has missed out on crucial modern technologies that newer fighters, albeit inferior fighters, have. Technologies such as Infrared Search and Track, or IRST. IRST enables fighters to intelligently and passively search, detect, track, classify, and prioritize multiple airborne targets, whether the targets are up, down, sideways, or anywhere. It enables fighters to engage these targets from great distances too. It is a game-changing technology that the Raptor has missed out on for far too long. But not anymore, as new and updated IRST pods are now slated to be installed on the fighter. Number 1. New Weapons Multiple weapons programs are ongoing in the US to develop weapons with better capabilities than those currently in service. The AIM-260 Long Range Joint Advanced Tactical Missile is one of these weapons. A beyond-visual range air-to-air -air missile designed as an unrivaled response to the advanced long-range missiles developed by near-peer adversaries, such as China's PL-15. Then there are the hypersonic missiles designed to fly at least five times the speed of sound to ensure no military jet on the planet can outrun America-assured destruction. Laser and microwave-directed energy weapons aren't left out either. These weapons are capable of destroying just about anything at a fraction of current costs and time. All of these weapons under development, once ready, could find a home in the F-22 Raptor. Ruling the world is a phrase that's thrown around like a frisbee, but once in a while, it is true. Some weapons and machines do rule the world in some way. In the skies, the F-22 Raptor has this crown, and despite the best efforts of a trilateral intercontinental team, the F-22 Raptor remains with its crown. To appreciate this fighter, the fighter that defined our world, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.